Church Tech Weekly presents NAB 2015, brought to you by CCI Solutions. CCI Solutions has served churches across the U.S. for over 40 years. Visit their website at ccisolutions.com. All righty, as we continue our NAB 2015 coverage, we've swung over to the uh, sound devices, video devices booth. And uh, if you've watched any of our previous coverage, you know we're here just about every year. Uh, we've covered the PIX 260, the 270, the 250, the 240. And uh, we're here this year with a brand new product, which is uh, an even smaller form factor uh, camera mountable monitor that also records. And uh, so I'm with Art Adams, who had uh, quite a bit to do with the uh, design and construction of this thing. So I'm going to let him walk us through kind of the high points of uh, this product. So, Art? So, we designed this for a lot of different people. I started my career as a camera assistant on feature films and TV series, and then uh, went into commercials and corporate, and I've done a lot of other stuff along the way, documentaries, things like that. We really wanted this to appeal to people who did documentaries, um, worked with DSLRs, but also camera assistants, camera operators, directors of photography, VTR operators, DITs. So, we put in a little bit of something for everyone. We initially discussed putting in an OLED display in this, but we realized that since it's an on-camera display, <coughs> we wanted full HD, which in this size, you can't get an OLED monitor that's full 1920 by 1080. And we also wanted really bright, because OLEDs look great in controlled environments, but not so good in uncontrolled. So we went uh, with LCD. It's a 500 nit display. It's very bright. We have a couple of great features. Uh, really like the tap zoom. If you want to pop in and check focus on something, all you have to do is touch the screen, touch out you know, again, and you, you have the option of either a 2x or a 4x zoom. And if you are trying to check focus on someone who's moving, then you can just drag around and follow them a little bit. Uh, we also have uh, pulse peaking, which I particularly like. I don't know why this works, but it really does. It, you can really see focus snap in. And, uh, you know, it's really difficult to see focus in the best of times. And, uh, you know, as people around the camera, we, we generally have the worst seat in the house. And that's part of what we tried to rectify here is give everyone the tools that we need to, you know, see things before the bosses, you know, watching the big display see them. We have all the usual modes. We have false color. Uh, we have zebras. We're working on a, a four-way quad split, which will have a histogram, vector scope, waveform. Uh, you know, waveform monitor functionality. It's in there. It's in there. Yeah, it's in there. It's coming. Beta software. Um, basically, this won't get released until it's bulletproof, which is why we're just kind of previewing it today. It's not ready to head out the door. But, uh, you know, markers, um, uh, let, you know, so all the common LUTs. So if you're recording log, either on this camera, C500, any of the area FS7, F5, F55s, uh, area Alexa, any of those, you can uh, feed a signal out that's corrected for Rec. 709 monitor so everyone on set can see something real. You can also load in your own. Um, I'll talk really quickly about the media. So this is the, the, the card that goes in the back. It has a USB 3 connect. Oh, I'm sorry. USB 3 connector on it, but it's a very beefy connector. So, you know, these get they wear down over time. So we didn't want to use a regular connector because those will fail after about a thousand cycles, and we wanted 10,000. So, inside is an MSATA card. Um, you can buy these from us, or you can buy your own. The Caddy costs sixty dollars. And uh, you can just buy these off Amazon as long as they're a, uh, an approved vendor. You just pop them right in. The trick with this is, in order to get the throughput, because we record 4K through HDMI, and we can also record every flavor of ProRes all the way to XQ, which is just huge bitrate. As soon as you plug this into the unit, it becomes an, an eSATA drive. And then once you unplug it, it goes back to USB 3.0, so you just plug it into a computer and you download it. Very cool. So it's hard. I'm sure it's hard for you to see how clear the video is, but it is really a gorgeous display. It's very crisp, excellent color rendition, um, and of course, like all video devices products, it works really well. It's very simple, very intuitive. All the buttons are positive. They work really nicely. So it looks like a great product. Now, what is the uh, pricing and availability on this going to be? Uh, summer for the five, and this is thirteen ninety five. There will be a 5H, which is HDMI only. That's $1,195. And then there's a 7-inch coming that will be 
And there's also a module that fits on the bottom of this that gives you two XLR inputs with real sound devices preamps, level control, uh, you know, peak meters, and um, shuttle control. So you can turn this into a VTR station. Very cool. So. Uh, if you want to learn more about this, you can probably visit their website, which is? Uh, video vi uh, videodevices.com. Videodevices.com. So really neat new product from uh, Video Devices. Um, you know, we love these things because they just work so well. So check out the new Pix 5E and the Pix E series 5 and, and the new 7 coming uh, later in the year. So really good stuff. Thanks, Art. Mm -hmm.